Welcome to Dunk Bait, where we talk mostly basketball. Today, Sierra will be talking about how important the behind-the-back pass is to come. And I'll be interviewing Kamaya Johnson. Um, I'm going to have him break down a couple of athlete swings, including mine. It might get interesting. Welcome to Atomic Wonder, where we break down one small thing with big ripple effects. Today, we'll be talking about how the behind-the-back pass is more than just a flashy extravagance, but a move that every lead guard needs to have. We'll start with the most infamous behind-the-back turnover of all time. In Game 7 of the NBA Finals in 2016, Steph Curry flung a behind-the-back pass intended for Klay Thompson out of bounds. Why would Curry take such an unnecessary risk in one of the biggest moments of his career? He spent the summer wondering the same thing and came back wishing he made the simple pass. But is Curry wrong here? All you need to do is look at J.R. Smith's face. He's wishing Curry would have thrown the so-called simple pass. A simple pass doesn't give Klay Thompson the extra second he needs to set his feet. A simple pass in this case is a slow pass, and slow is a death sentence in basketball. The problem wasn't the idea, it was the execution. If you want to know why Flash is actually good, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. Back to the days of barnstorming basketball when the hottest ticket in town was Pistol Pete Maravich at the Cow Palace. This pass was just as effective then as it is now. It's hard to intercept. It's naturally deceptive. You don't expect a pass from a guy whose back is turned to you. Pete let defenses think they were forcing him in one direction, and then redirected that momentum in a snap, passing the ball exactly where the defense didn't want it to go. As defenses get more sophisticated, tilting them like this has become even more important. It's hard to trap Harden when this is how fast he can set up Joe Harris. Then there's Trey Young, who even added a wraparound overhead pass to pass over traps despite being just six feet tall. In an exclusive video lesson with ThroughTheLens.com, look how seamlessly he transitions from dribble to pass. This simple play gets to the core of what makes basketball so fun. Style isn't just an aesthetic, it's an asset. The behind the back pass seems innocuous, we don't even bother to distinguish it from any other pass. It only becomes obvious when it isn't there. It's the easiest, safest way to pass out of double teams, which means the more of a threat you are on offense, the more you need this pass. Which brings us to Jamal Murray. Look how easily Jamal can make these pretty pocket passes to Jokic when he rolls. And now look what happens when he doesn't roll. Murray makes 20 passes a game to Jokic, but only one of them leads to a three-point attempt, even though Jokic is one of the best pick and pop threats. Lucky for Jamal though, he can get some help. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about behind the back passes, check out my feature at Yahoo Sports. So I'm the Jethro Jenkins here with Kamaya Johnson. How you doing? Pro, hey, pro hey, golfer. Me. I'm an NBA guy. You know what yeah. I mean? I'll show some, some swings of some players. Yeah. I'll break them down for us. Is that you cool with that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. That's it. This right here is J.R. Smith, uh, mm -hmm. avid golfer. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think about his swing. Maybe give him some tips. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I mean that looks like a pretty good swing. Honestly, all, all JR needs to do is to get those shoulders open a little bit and get that club more outside on the backswing mm -hmm. and, and, and get it more inside coming through. Because right now he's got it coming, coming inside on the takeaway and that, that creates over the top coming down. And so if he can just get a club coming a little more outside and get that club more shallow and get those hips more involved in his golf swing, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll turn out to be a really good player. Here's Steph Curry right here. Okay. Pure. <laughs> oh, oh, pure. That's what you got for it? Pure. That's what you got right there. Yeah, man. Steph, and, and, and I, I love what Steph is doing for the game at Howard, you know, um, mm -hmm. growing that golf team and, and creating a golf program there. I mean, that just goes to show, you know, that, you know, look at, look what, look, you know, look what having a, uh, like a, a voice can do for the game of golf. You know, it's just amazing to see what he's doing at Howard. Um, I'm a, I, I didn't go to, I didn't go to an HBCU, I didn't, but I'm a, I, I was a part of FAMU University. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, my uncle was the vice president there. My brother was a two-time All-American there. And um, I grew up right down the street from FAMU. So okay. um, it's just good to see what he's doing at Howard. Oh, uh, it's Charles had, you know, he, he, he worked on his swing. He's changed a little bit. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. A little yippy, a little yippy. A little but glitch, a little glitch, you know what Yeah, I mean? a little glitch. But let me tell you, Charles has, has, has improved that uh, uh, a lot this year. I think, you know, like I said, like we were talking earlier, you know, you know, COVID really helped him, helped him out a lot. He was able to play a lot of golf and, and able to improve. And, and um, yeah, I, I love to see it. Okay, there's just one more guy. Um, his name is John Nichols. He made a D2 basketball team, but you haven't really probably heard of him much. That's me. <laughs> Could you break down my swing real quick? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Dude, that's actually not bad. It's actually like not over the top as you as, as you think. You that's know? not a driver I, though. That's not the driver, that's the... <laughs> That's that's pretty good with an iron though. Where did that ball go? That ball started. Um, it, right? it, 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 it started right and ended up on the green. Ended up on the green. We played a little yeah, part. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I think you just need to try to try to hit it more to left field. Mm -hmm. um, get that club more down the line a little bit. But other than that, man, the backswing looks good. Um, like I said, get that club moving more on the outside on the takeaway. But all in all, man, I mean, you've been playing the game for six months. That's six like, months that looks up. really that looks really good. Well, appreciate you. I'm gonna tell my friends on the golf course, you feel me? Yeah, tell tell yeah. them tell them that you're not as trash as they are. Right, right. There we go, there we go. Hey, man, great talking to you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me, buddy. Appreciate right. it. Look forward Thank to you. it. All right, so that's the show. I'm the Jethro Jenkins. I'm Sirit Sohi. Y'all be cool. Be safe out there.